My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't exist because I ain't got one. How's it going, everyone? I'm just talking to Dave, and welcome back to the Nostalgia Train. Unfortunately, today, um, Amber is not going to be joining us on this little trip because she has some um, medical stuff that she has to take care of. Her back isn't treating her the best right now, so, right. Before that, I actually just came from helping her out the best, best I can. And she is resting right now, hopefully, because I did ask her to do that. Uh, well, I do this, and then afterwards I'm going to go to bed as well. Anyway, let's continue on with the story, shall we? At this rate, you might as well have, be having a conversation with a rock. I'm not that stupid. Now, what I'm going to be doing is my interpretations of these characters. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Okay, fair enough. That's fair. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Don't remind me! Ugh! I hate horror! Oh? Why is that? Well, I... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cutesy things, don't you, Natsuki? Ah, shut up, Monica! What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper by- Okay, that sounds way too... Stylish. Um... <laughs> you left a piece of scrap paper behind the class. <laughs> I don't know what to give Monica. Um... Because I can't do- I, I would do what Amber was doing, but I can't do a really- I can't really do a cowgirl. I could do a cowboy quite easily. Yeah! But not really a cowgirl. Plus, she's actually from the South. I'm not. You left a piece of. Sc I'll just do normal, I guess. You left a piece of scrap paper behind the street last club meeting. Looks like you were writing on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! I give that back! I'm fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poem, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori, that does not look right. Um, I'm kind of hiding behind it, so let me show y'all what I mean by this. Uh, I'm kind of weirded out by this, but here, take a look at this weirdness. That didn't work. Stupid! Okay, there we go. <laughs> It didn't work again. Oh, my sleeping. Are you going to murder you now? Ow! Well, I snapped myself back into existence, but not the way I was hoping for. Ow! <laughs> that looks really weird, guys. Come on! Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Ah! Natsuki, you're, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. 
Why don't you shut him sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Yeah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Wow. Spoken like a true poet. Do you want to do it? Oh, wait. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, yeah, okay, there it is. Do I have to keep moving? Holy freaking cow, guys. Come on. I mean... Seriously, you two, come on. Pick a side and stay on it. I, <laughs> okay, fine. Fine, let's readjust here. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's the same for Yuri. This feels really weird. Aww! I want to read everyone's poems! Wow, you're such a whiner, Sayori. And now you're a bot! Y'all are making this very difficult, you know that? You know what? Fine, Yuri. Sorry, you're, you're staying behind my head until you get to a different spot. Good grief! We all sit in silence for a moment. Really? That position, Monica? Okay! No, there's, there's Monica's voice right there for me. I have an idea. <laughs> Karen, yes! That's Monica's voice right there. Karen! Oh, uh, but now I gotta front my voice. It's straining. Let me get some water. Be right back. Okay. Got my drinky. Throw his killy. I said water, but I wanted Gatorade, so shut up. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. No, that wasn't what? Oh my gosh, I have an idea, everyone. Oh boy. Alright, you got everyone's at the no, that's Nazi, so I don't what voice am I gonna give you? Monica. Oh my god. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Okay. Let's all go home right at Paula. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? Yes, that's that's Monica. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. Okay, Monica. Way too peppy for my type. I've already got a peppy enough chick. Anyway, an actual beautiful redhead. Ginger. Y you know what I mean. That way everyone's even. Oh, boy. What have I got myself to do? Uh -oh. Yeah, let's do it! Oh boy, Airhead is here. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other. Wink, wink. Oh boy. And strengthen the Bond of the club! Can I run for the hills now? <laughs> Isn't that right, Pink Fox? Join us or leave! Oh my, Monica. Okay, fine. Alright, alright, alright. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, 
I bluntly come out forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. Crap. Uh, I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, uh, I lose my train of thought. Of course I do. I'm as oblivious as a freaking bat. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> it fucks. Y you all, I, 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 I'm defenseless against these girls. Apparently. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Uh, easy. I'm not joining this club. I'm out of here. Bye! That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful... No. I got an IRL beauty. I don't need these punks. Right. Okay, I decided that. Time to sign a deal with the devil. I'll join the literature club. I have just signed a deal with the devil. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me. Oh, gosh. Jumping up and down. Uh, how old are you, Sayori? Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Okay, Natsuki. Then that makes it official. Oh, boy. Welcome to the literature club. Oh, Monica, please stop. Also, Natsuki looks just about as annoyed now as she did earlier. I mean, look at that. Does Natsuki really want that? You think Natsuki really wants that? Uh, Monica? Monica? Then again, Natsuki's blushing, so who the hell do I know? I don't know. Maybe Natsuki does want that. I don't know. Question of the day. Does Natsuki want that? <laughs> Hold on. I'm not far back enough. Does Natsuki want that? I, 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 I don't know. Ah, thanks. I, I, I guess. Time to save. Possible chance I reread a little bit of this. If I did, I apologize. I'm an idiot. I don't think I did, though. I don't think I did. Anyway. So I'm going to save over that file. I have good reason for this. After this, there is no turning back to the last save point. Absolutely not. Luckily, we've got several empty slots, but this one has to remain the same. Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting. On a good note. Okay, please get out of here. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Uh, what have I signed up for? Yes, all right. I want to make sure that... Okay, there we go. Write a poem to bring it to the next meeting. So we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Ah! Pink Fox, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Did you just 
just wink at me. Monica, you are getting really... I feel uncomfortable with you. Well, that doesn't help. That does not help. Now I'm understanding what Natsuki feels. Oh, no, the opposite. You know what? I don't even know what Natsuki. I don't know what Natsuki... What does Natsuki want? I mean... If Natsuki wants that, she can have that. I don't care. Y y yeah. Okay, I'm trying to save over the closest point possible to this shift in gears. But of course I have to save on this. You know, cause why not? Whoa, okay, excuse me. I need more blue piss in my <laughs> I swear this isn't piss. In fact, I don't even know why I called it that. Y yeah. Can I really impress the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? You can't, but I'm betting I could. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Peak Fox! Sorry! Oh, <coughs> this is why I don't usually do a woman's voice. Holy crap. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Uh, you are a very big bubblehead, aren't you? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yeah! Okay. Is this the point where you save? Probably not yet. I don't know anymore! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. I am getting a notification. Never mind, that wasn't a notification, that was... The Pink Fox. You should have heard my voices for these characters, they're ridiculous. Oh boy. Basically, I've got... Hi, Pappy! Annoying twerp, which we both do. No, she's a demonic twerp. Well, no, she's annoying. And then Yuri, well, you've already heard that one. And then Monica, basically Karen. Like, oh my god! <laughs> I mean, I'm just glad they're not giving the reactions they were earlier, because, whoo boy! I thought you were going to rest. I was going to, but I felt the need to get become OCD. I felt that, oh boy. Right, your OCD-ness caused you to end up over here anyway. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's... Now I'm about to go back to my place, so... Oh, for the love of... <laughs> Alright, we're about to get a notification. Let's find out what that is. Hello. It's a kiss on the forehead. The... That's not the forehead. Kiss on the lips. That's one better. There we go. Bye! Bye sorry, we could, sorry we couldn't have you for much of this video. <laughs> Hopefully next time. Yeah. See you, babe. Well, that was fun. I did not expect that. <laughs> well. Why am I... Oh, right, because I was showing up. Anyway. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Do I have to answer this question? I'm just gonna keep... Yes. <clears throat> Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Yay! I think this is actually... Okay. Is this the one? Will I have to do this anymore? Good grief. And I'll the blah! <laughs> <laughs> and 
I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay, this is actually the one here. How many times have I done this before realizing it? This holy freaking cow, man. Yep, yeah, there we go. Finally. Oh, shoot. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Don't matter, we're helping all of them anyway. In this playthrough, we are going to do every single thing possible. Um, starting with Natsuki. Sweet. That was not Natsuki. How was that? A okay, twirl. Play. What? Huh. Uh, 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 Rose. Aw, oh, come on. Sunny. Huh? Fluffy. Uh, games. Poppy. Um. Sugar. I I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just random. You be anime. <clears throat> uh, stinky. Right. Uh, no, I think that rainbow. I don't know. Boof. Jump. Pink. There we go. Okay, we're on a roll. Uh-oh. Oh, fireflies? No! Uh, kitty! Just like Boo. And you had to do this. I don't know, shopping? How was that right? Cute. Definitely cute. Okay. Definitely got not ski on this one. That was hard! I get pink. I get pink box. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. What have I done? Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in. So everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Big Fox. Uh... <laughs> I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack. Hey! I don't want to be here in the first place. I know what's going to happen. I don't want to be here. I say with a freaking maniacal smile on my face. Heh, heh, heh. What? I don't even know what that was. Shut up. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year to Okay, true that. Alright, fair enough, fine. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Okay, alright. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the classroom. <laughs> Okay, I act that out way too well. No one notices this, okay? Or at least no one pointed out. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Mangaka? <laughs> <laughs> Mangaka? Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops 
in her, back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Pink Fox always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Oh, boy. Uh, sure, Sayuri. Sure. <laughs> I'm a guy. <coughs> Jeez. Alright, Gatorade first. Okay, here we go. He helps me with busy work with having a task. Oh, jeez. Asking! There we go. This, this comes from me doing pretty much music stuff my whole life, okay? Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. That's totally me, actually. <laughs> and you almost set there, your house on fire once. Okay. Okay. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, sure. Alright. Well, onward. I want to be a little jealous. Okay, Yuri, you'll get your chance. Don't worry. How come? You and Pink Fox can become good friends too. Uh, you okay, Sayori? I mean, I know the answer, but for those who don't, you okay, Sayori? Uh-oh. Sayori! Uh... Sorry, I'm doing this wrong. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If we're gonna be more... If we're going to show this more <laughs> accurately... Uh... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like... Monkey around now. There. Alright. This is totally normal. This doesn't hurt my legs at all. Actually, it hurts a lot. I'm gonna grab my seat. <laughs> okay. Upper. Nothing. I'm just gonna, gonna say anything. Also, apologies for my stuffed up nose. Surprised I haven't said that yet. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Why am I not surprised? Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something to you know? Wait, what? I don't remember this. Wait, Sayori? It, me? Uh, not, not really. Uh... It's really nothing. Uh, what is this? Ugh, excuse me. Never mind. Well, Yuri! <coughs> Yuri, come on, huh? Don't do that! So you really made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Uh... Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. It's okay, it's okay. Come on, Yuri. Just give me the gift. I want to see the gift now, because I actually forgot what the gift was. I legitimately don't remember. What was the gift? I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Again! Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. <clears throat> so, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Oh boy, it'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, sure. I don't even know what I'm saying, so yeah. Y yeah, 
I won't mind. I, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, yeah. Wait, hear the what now? Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. What the who now? It's a short read. So it should keep your it should keep your attention. Even if you don't usually read. Uh Thanks. And we can you, you know discuss it if if you want to. This isn't a book club, this is a literature club. Don't get it confused, Jury. This is how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She's not. She's blushing. She has a crush. Maybe if I was single, that'd be cute, but uh, I find this very awkward. Maybe my companion not playing as here, don't, but I do. She even picked out a book she thinks I like. Despite me not reading much. Okay, this is really getting annoying to my nose. Give me one sec. Uh, I, can't, I can't even figure out the snapping situation anymore. Okay, well, hopefully that's the last of it. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. And I'm being kind of cruel to Yuri. Yes, she's cute. She is. She accidentally is being cute. I'm just... Precarious, I guess. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Okay. Ah! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Hi, Natsuki. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot! What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Eh. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other per <coughs> person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. When I was talking to Yuri the other day. Technically six days ago, but you know, not really. Besides... It's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. The lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set one book missing is probably the most irritating sight. Okay, you're OCD. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she said she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. 
you're gonna check, you can do it through the glass on that door. Okay, jeez. Point to the glass of door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't say anything. <clears throat> it was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Pink Fox. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. I know that. In fact... Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Perfect Girls for the box. <clears throat> I'm going to show you exactly why. Okay. She shows the book right in my hands. Ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo, which means what? Don't just stand there. Ugh. <coughs> okay. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Hey. Sure. I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why's that? <clears throat> I, I guess it's easier to be closer like that. <coughs> okay, it's hurting my throat now. More blue piss. Because <laughs> that's what I'm calling it now. Guess it's easier to be closer together. <coughs> <clears throat> D -d Don't just say that. <laughs> You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Hey. <coughs> okay. This is really starting to hurt my throat. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. <clears throat> I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. <laughs> okay. I can feel her peering over my shoulder. Much more eager to begin reading than I am. I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Uh, what? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Even when there's like a new, not, new volume coming out, you don't binge the rest of it beforehand? Okay, that I find weird. <clears throat> hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happened yet. So I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Isn't that most an anime and manga at this point? <laughs> kind of feels like it sometimes. Feels like it. I know it's not actually the case. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these. Since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Fair enough. So, what should I expect for this? Is there going to be plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have plot? Okay, jeez. Sassy Sue? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Well, that's most stories, though. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with the guy at the ice cream shop. Okay, so this is, like, for chicks. But that's just to help you get to know the characters. 
And besides, it's still entertaining. I'm like giving you a mix of several different voices. I don't even know what voice to give you. Especially with the bad vocals that I got right now, as you guys experienced recently. Or just like five minutes ago. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all the backstories and when suddenly the romance starts to happen. Oh boy. That's really what makes it so good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I go home now? Wait. I already am home. And wait. I'm in control of this whole thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave this video here before I go crazy. I... <sighs> There's so many touching parts! This better be close to the end. I'm gonna muster through this. This better be close to the end. Yeah, no, you what? No, I'm leaving this here. Is that so? Okay. Yeah. Want to check out any other visual novels I've done prior to this? Click the link down there, trailer to take you to that destination. Or if you want to check out any of the stops you might have missed for this ride, link across right here, try to take you there. In the meantime, this train's up to its next destination. Hopefully by the time it reaches that destination, I'm feeling a little bit better. <coughs> and hopefully by the time it comes back to this stop, I'll feel a lot better. But thanks again for watching this video, guys. Train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch all of you in another ride. Bye.